Okay. All right. Um, okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, uh, welcome to the first installment of the Greek Communist Corner. There will be we will be reading. Uh, Chippers government dismissed 10,000 workers and promotes in privatization garbage collection. An article from, uh, well, one of the best sites, one of the best blogs, even to be more technically correct, I would say, uh, of, Greek com of Greek origin, I would say, uh, about communism and such. Uh, it's called communism.telegia.blogspot. Defending communism, to be exact, it's actual its actual name. And today with me we have two fellow comrades that we will be commenting, questioning, and basically sharing their opinion on the subject. Um, introduce yourselves. Yeah, hi, I'm Jacob. Okay, welcome. Firstly, welcome, and secondly. Let's let's get this party starting. All right. Uh, we'll be reading this article uh, as the, the title has been already said, and you can find the source to the article and the description below in order to be able to read along or read at your own pace or your own time, whenever you please. Uh, your lads are ready. Ready. Lovely. All right, let's get us started. The Syrian and Nel coalition government, within the framework of its anti-people, anti-workers policy, which is actually true, uh, which is and uh, follows the demands of the EU strategy, moves towards the dismissal of 10,000 sanitary, sanitary workers while it promotes the privatization of the garbage collection sector in municipalities. Basically, to say, uh, to say, a side note. Greece has been uh, undergoing extreme privatization. Basically, a lot of companies, even and structures, infrastructure is being sold out to private companies uh, in foreign countries. For example, the, our biggest port, Piraeus, Piraeus port, uh, was sold to the Chinese a few years ago, and our whole railway system was sold to, the, to an Italian company. But yeah, apart from that, let's continue on. Uh, Greece's local authority staff, Union, uh, authority staff Union Federation, POI OTA, launched a protest last week after a court ruled against the new extension to late 2017 of the short-term contracts of more than 10,000 people working in trust collection in municipalities throughout, the, throughout Greece. POI OTA responded with work stoppages, strikes and sitting protests at landfills rightfully demanding permanent deployment of workers to replace the fixed term contracts which put workers in risk of being fired in a country suffering chronic unemployment of about 25% of the working force. Yeah, basically Greece has been uh, suffering basically one fourth of its population that hasn't had the job, it has been unemployed basically for years now and the situation has, been, has only been going south with the austerity measures uh, basically uh, lowering the non-existent wages that already currently are and basically lowering pensions, lowering unemployment benefits that are necessary for someone to survive without a job. Because people don't actually, people do actually want to work, but they're not lazy. You can't like say that people are lazy, don't want to work. People don't have a job. So how has the uh, population responded towards this? Has there been any like um, protests or demonstrations? Uh, well, yes. Uh, since 2010, when the crisis first started, uh, basically not all kinds of fronts, but mainly the Socialist Front, the Communist Party of Greece, and other actual other socialist groups like the Trotskyist Trotskyist party, the anarchists, the theoretical anarchists, and so on and so forth, have been doing protests at such. Goodness, like, during the early years, one of the worst the pro riots happened here in, actually, in Athens, where it had, had a lot of damages had been suffered. Fires, broken stores. Even though I, I don't remember looting happening, but 
heavy damages did happen on stores and such businesses and such. All right. So, were, were there any consequences from uh, from doing this? Like, did the government respond, and did they punish these people in any sort of way, or impose apart any from, policies? Apart from, yeah, apart from the arrests, uh, indirectly, no, because they can't. They don't really have the ability to. They don't have the power to, like, use force, or use political force, or any kind of force against its own people. Um, yeah, directly, indirectly, kind of, with the continuous, uh, continuous uh, austerity measures that the EU is forced to, is is uh, making them put and upon the population, thus forcing them, forcing the population to live in a worse and worse condition as the as we go. All right, all right, you can continue. Do you have a question? Uh, most protests, okay, I can't say that like the in in recent in to be all, also in recent events, they're not pro they're not riots like what happened in G20 in Hamburg. They were mainly just rallies and protests that okay, peaceful, but they were meant to show an example of actually getting uh, off the couch, watching the news of the Politic of the channels that have political influence from the parties that are currently in power, on one power, and instead of going out in the streets outside the parliament and doing uh, doing a national rally in order to raise awareness in the people. It wasn't like burning fires here and there. It was more on the peaceful side, but it was like there were continuous, like every year there are continuous protests but they, like, by the Communist Party. Hmm. All right, um, if there's no more questions, let's continue. In the communication trick, Interior Minister Panos Skurletis, even though I agree, can't pronounce that bloody surname, uh, submitted to the Parliament of, on Monday a proposal for hiring 2,500 permanent municipal sanitation workers. The proposal was immediately rejected by Toyota as insufficient. The government's mockery towards the sanitary workers is more than clear. It proposes the hiring of 2,500 municipal sanitation workers or it prepares the dismissal of more than 600-500 of them. Given that, they, that sanitation work services are a daily operation in urban centers, we request permanent personnel earning salaries, allowing them to make a living with dignity. There is no need for short-term workers, which are recycled by governments and mayors under the formula, you leave, you are hired. As a result, it's time people are offered fewer workers' rights and smaller wages, increase the spending because when the other project was quoted by the Chinese when they, okay, I might have, okay, uh, quick stopping there, the recording. Uh, okay. I might have okay. messed up a little on that. That's fine. Uh, uh, you can, you know what you can do? Uh, yeah. After, like, we had the questions, you can just, you know, say, okay, continuing on, and then go back to the, in a communication trick, that one. No, actually, this is second paragraph. Anyway, yeah, I yes, uh, I stopped the recording. Let me just, I guess, I can backtrace. Yeah, that we we don't actually. Need to you stop know what? I will. I will continue from where I stopped, but it's now we re reread the part. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> In moment, actually, we have some issues. All right, and we're going. Given that sanitation services are a daily operation in urban centers, request the permanent personnel earning salaries allowing them to make a living with dignity. 
There is no need for some ten workers, which are recycled by governments and mayors under the formula "you leave, you are hired." As a personal, as a result, it's time people are offered fewer workers' rights and smaller wages. Christos Panagiotopoulos, a protesting worker who was quoted by the Chinese news network Xinhua on Monday, basically this is what he said, uh, like two weeks ago, I think, when this war, the war subject to place, or a week ago, I don't remember exactly, where the post had started by a Chinese network. In this anti-worker strategy, the Syriza Nella government, the current government is uh, by Tsipras, a social democrat and the EU puppet to be crude. And Anel, which is basically, to be honest, I don't even know what Anel, Anel's uh, ideology is basically because they're so unknown they're they're not really no they're basically they will cities are cooperated with them because they didn't want any of the other major parties to actually cooperate with them but uh, moving on it's actually supported by the opposition party of new democracy uh, it i would say it is conservative party to be on a capital it, it promotes capitalist values and, and conservative values of somewhat new democracy and continue and all the upper political uh, political forces including many of the municipal authorities in Thessaloniki Mayor Yanis Boutaris known for his hostility towards the labor movement unleashed a fierce attack against he, the striking workers and threatened them by signing an emergency tender awaiting a relevant or short-term contract to the private sector such a move by Boutaris would cost the to the city's taxpayers, approximately 122,000 euros for three days of work. Basically, the taxpayer, the people of Thessaloniki would pay have to pay such a big sum of money for just three days of work to the private sector. Anyway, uh, the all workers militant from PAME, which is basically, uh, it is the sin. It basically takes care of all syndicals and all unions uh, it, of Greece, of the Greek workers, and it's basically a part of the Greek Communist Party, uh, slammed the anti-worker delirium of Mayor Boutaris, thus accusing him of promoting the governmental strategy and the interests of private contractors. So you mentioned something about the All Workers Militant Front. Like, would you say they are more the radical um, group of people uh, within the uh, mm -hmm. what what are they exactly? Well, uh, they are they're not they're not a separate party by themselves. They are instead a sector of the Greek Communist Party, which is basically it it is dedicated to to taking care of, to siding with the, and helping out the workers and the the unions and the syndicates. In, a, in getting their rights, their, their full workers' rights, uh, by protests, by uh, any kind of means that are necessary, well, peaceful means uh, that are able to uh, get the workers more close to getting the workers the rights they deserve. Let me tell you something. Uh, sorry for the interruption, but the, uh, I know I say a lot of about peaceful actions. The co not to be misinterpreted like the Communist Party is a, a pacifist, a, a only peaceful action. It is a revolutionary party. It would be willing to start a civil war if needed at the at the, perf at the correct situation in order to establish a, the a socialist state, because it is Marxist-Leninist party. But uh, continue on. No, no, was that um so is this the all workers militant front or are you talking about the party the all workers militant front is the one that takes care of the unions the syndicates and the workers the rights the rights their payments and such they have found in that the communist party is what i said about being revolutionary not while also while, while using a, a peaceful means because they are kind of forced to okay. use peaceful means I 
what do you mean exactly? Yeah, yeah, I work as owned. Um, the thing is, I though that I think we have so like it has been done in the past. I'm not sure, but like I don't think they can call this for long. Like, let me tell you something because a uh, close family members in it. Uh, Few years ago, uh, one of the high one of the one of the high class uh, hotels here in Athens uh, closed after the, the its its owners spend the, basically spend the money out and then declared bankruptcy. They spend the, they invested the money in all the businesses and didn't care about the current uh, about the current hotel because those owners had gotten a loan. From the bank to expand the, the hotel, and they have never paid a single payment back to the banks. And basically, any money they had, they invested in all the companies. And the workers, what have been paid for a long time, instead of like giving up the building to the banks, they instead occupied the building. They didn't run it. They didn't run it as a business of their own, but they instead occupied the building and remained in it. Using its facilities and such as as a, as a kind of protest, and yes, the because they had to be paid a, in a really long time, they had families to feed, and the potential of them getting uh, getting another job was really slim at the current situation because most companies prefer to hire like younger, cheaper to employ and and continuously pay workers. So yeah, I do believe that it is a possibility that the, the workers would take up like the facilities, the means, the means of production. You, uh, we would say, like from a company that, but I doubt they would be able to hold it for long because they themselves would have to find a way to earn a living, so they and their families can also live because they might control the mean the the factory, but they. Either we have to run it on their own, which can cause problems, or with like supplying and such, it can cause problems. Yes, most people look to the person again and not working, uh, and they kind of disengage themselves from working with such co with such uh, workplaces, co-ops, cooperatives, and such. Like they could take it over, but it would only last for a few months at best. Uh, shall we? Oh, okay. Yeah. The thing is that currently Greece is at at its worst of worst. Even. A, if anyhow, it's just gonna be just worse and worse and worse. It has been getting worse and worse throughout the years from now. And to be honest, if like if the market crashed again, uh, I don't think there would be such a dif big difference. Apart from like people losing their job, the situation will really change because the situation is already there. It's potentially worse. Like it has come to a point that it, it's the ultimate worst that can happen. All right. We can continue. All right. Continuing on. Fraud, hostage, dismissal, and employment. This is the course of the government's policy in the case of the municipal sanitation workers. The policy followed by the Syriza and government during the last 2.5 years writes the Sunday edition of Rizos Pastis on 25th of June. Rizos Pastis was basically is the Greek Communist Party's newspaper that comes out daily, but also comes out as, on the Sunday edition. 
So is it a good newspaper? Like, do you, do you read it? Uh, yes, it. Yeah, I, yeah. It also ha it basically says mainly on the side on the yeah. uh, from the view of the workers. The news, like, and the, it's uh, uh, like regarding foreign politics, economics. It uh, it basically discusses everything that affects the the workers. All right. And they also have a newspaper for the Greek communist youth. That is more open. That is more close to the youth. That is, I don't know how to explain. It's basically not as serious. It is more lighthearted, but it still says about issues that affect people. All right. Well, um, you mentioned something. Well. Like this news article, for example, is from a blog post. But mm -hmm. um, would you know of any other like good sources of information that people maybe outside of Greece or inside of Greece um, would like like to read? Like, do you have any favorites yourself? Um, personally, apart from this, I no. But uh, you would also check out nine on two dot. Yeah, which is basically it used to be a TV channel, the, the channel of the Greek of the Greek Communist Party. We used to have a TV channel back then in the, in the <laughs> olden years. Uh, I miss, but, but, but that is basically the online interpretation. It, it, we we also have a news a radio station that is Greek. Also, there is the Communist Greek Party's website, which is also. Also, just to do for the record, both sites are and can be translated in many languages from Greek to Arabic to Russian to any, to any of, of the major languages, you could say. Yeah, I checked that out myself. It looked pretty good. Um, but all right. Uh, we'll, we'll link some of the links in the description also. But um, hmm. you can continue on. All right. Continue on. Uh, the article continues. In particular, the sector of sanitation and waste management consists of a very promising investment sector for monopoly groups. Many are those who are looking to stretch their hands, since in this case, capital is treasure. Basically, to say a bit of this, uh, basically, companies not only will they be paid, but uh, basically, companies will be paid in order to collect garbage, uh, but to also they will be paid to process it. They will be paid to collect it, and they will be paid to process it. Thus, earning more and more profits. But anyway, yeah. But moving on, uh, what nowadays appears to be a cordial knot in the labor relation of the contract workers consists of very class opportunity to promote privatization projects. There's also no connection test that many media according to their favorite method, are to the museum at the piles of garbage in Athens in order to connect the issues with the tourist season and pass the message about the need of privatization. Basically, what it says here, like in many, many, in, like actually in all the Greek, uh, the Greek uh, news channels, new, in all the news media here in Greece, the, what they would show only they would like they wouldn't show the protests of the workers. They like the private channels. I mean, they wouldn't show the protests of the workers. They would rarely show that. Instead, they would show ju they would just show the piles of garbage and then blame it. Like not directly, they would kind of blame it on the indirectly. It's like I guess they would they could try to possibly. Uh, indirectly push a blame towards the workers. Like if there's even they even had interviews from the citizens, but citizens, those citizens weren't blaming anyone. That it said uh, they were saying about the bad situation here in Greece, like the bad situation with the regard to garbage. That is, they couldn't like rats. Uh, any kind of pest that you could imagine of. The garbage had uh, brought it, and people couldn't even go out to the balconies because of the stench. 
So, um, do you have this problem yourself, like in the cities you live in? Is there a lot of garbage everywhere, or is this blown up too much? Do you think? Not, not anymore, uh, because the strikes. This is to be to put it on record. This is an article that was uh, towards the end of the previous month, and the strikes has have been have been uh, the one week. The strikes lasted for one whole week before they ended. Uh, I'm not sure what, oh, how they ended, but from what I know, they kind of ended on a, a stalemate a bit. Uh, con con the, the sanitary workers would still continue to work, but con discussions about the situation would continue too. So, uh, yeah. What is the route to to the garbage? Do you think, like they, they, you said, that they indirectly push blame upon the workers? But is it just that, or is there something else to it? Um, are they not paid uh, private? Enough? Private TV channels here in Greece uh, tend to be influenced by a party, a company, something uh, their own personal interests, like. You could, they tend to either not include part, uh, like, let's say, for example, because I remember it fondly, because I was there. Uh, the, the, the Socialist Front of Greece always does yearly a, 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 a huge protest outside the American Embassy uh, in the day of the Polytechnic, when we uh, celebrate, I guess, commemorate the, mem the day where the university students at uh, the Polytechnic protested against the uh, the junta that was kind of the, the junta that was currently that was back then in power uh, in 1971. I think that happened. I don't remember exactly, to be honest. And that was extremely anti-communist and. It executed communists or socialists. It banished them to uh, to like rock islands in camps, camp prisons. The execution the executions would take place there, and their bodies would be literally thrown into the sea. So, would you say a lot of these uh, media outlets are very anti-communist or uh, yeah, they anti have they, yeah, they have an anti an anti-socialist part because like. Uh, the, pro the, the protest happened, it was a huge event, because I was there too, like hordes of people were there. And in, in almost, I, pre I think almost no private news network uh, was it shown, the protest. The only thing that was shown from the protest was a little fight that broke out between, Siri between Syriza uh, supporters. That's, so, the only, yeah. that's the whole thing that was shown in the whole protest, a tiny fight. Uh, it is a little hard to say that, to be honest. Uh, we are, we are the Communist Party's Marxist Leninist of the Soviet style. I mean, uh, after Stalin, not Khrushchev, revisionism and such. And anarchists and the Korean Communist Party, they are on weird terms, I would say. I personally don't know exactly what are the terms of the Korean Communist Party with anarchists. Well, I don't know it well. We are so not really related to, we, we, yeah, we're neutrally beat. We're not really related to them, but we don't exactly have a problem with them. Like, we don't fight against them. All right. Well, um, continue on. Yeah. Where was I? Okay. Uh, in a statement, the Communist Party of Greece, the Kappa Kappa Epsilon, expressed its support to the struggle of the workers and denounced the policy of the Syriza and their government as well as the role of new democracy, a part of the mayors who promote the privatization plans. 
the Kappa Kappa X states that the waste collection and management is a state's responsibility and must be financed from the government's budget. Today, the, the Kappa Kappa X statement points out the city's annual government dismisses thousands of contract workers hiding behind the pro Constitution's provisions. Instead of ensuring the right to stable and permanent labor of all these workers, the government is mocking them for more promising supposed solutions which perpetuate labor insecurity and lead to dismissals. Full support to the struggle of the sanitation workers was expressed by the five communist mayors of the cities of Patras, Haidari, Petrupolis, Kesegani, and Dikaria. Again, we actually have communist mayors that are part of the communist party that are currently leading some of the big cities of uh, uh, Greece. So the Greek Communist Party is not really only on the political spectrum of the parliament, but it also has people that are ruling, that are currently uh, as mayors of the cities. So are they, uh, do they have speeches in, in town? Are they liked by the people? Yes. Um, okay. The, they are, they do tend to have, even one of them, I don't remember which exactly, was actually prosecuted. But because of the people's continuous support and rallying against his false prosecutions, I don't remember that, uh, they, all charges were, were dropped. You mean like people that promote uh, reform of capitalism and not a revolution, or do you mean reform and revolution? Um, I wouldn't. I possibly if you like uh, some socialist parties, like the socialist, like a few social, total social democratic, socialist, but not so on the Marxist, Leninist, like lighter versions of socialist parties. Yes, that the kind they do believe, they possibly do believe the revolution and reform of the capitalist system can happen. But like for the Communist Greek Party pro uh, promotes revolution and the whole abolishment of the capitalist co system and its replacement by the socialist system. Yeah, we, we, we never, like, revolution is mainly its purpose, because it, since its existence, since its creation in 1918, its main point was, its main inspiration was the Russian Revolution of 1917. And it has been revolutionary since then. Although we had, although it has had some ups and downs, it kind of it has stabilized nowadays, oh, but yeah, it it used to oh, it, it used to have been combined with the social democrats, but then the spl a split happened because extreme arguments happened between the two because uh, there were two different ideologies to put to put it simply social democracy and so and Marxism Leninism revolution in a revolutionary manner are. Very different. Uh, all right, continue on. Who denounced the governmental mockery? The five mayors asked from the government to transform the temporary contracts of the municipal and sanitation workers into permanent ones. And coming to a close, and a 24 hour strike and a new rally in Athens was called for Thursday. That was two weeks ago, I think. And, so, so what and the strike uh, lasted for a whole week. Did you um, do you know any details about it? Um, where, yeah, so it was in Athens, but um, were there any casualties? 
Uh, no, right. actually, there, have, there weren't any. I don't think there were any violent outbreaks. Like they were protesting peacefully. They even had gone out of the ministry. I believe that this is possible for sanitation, and or I don't remember exactly either. Or the the, part, the government the building that is the responsible of, of such thing as workers. Okay. Well, so going through this article what is like what what are you thinking when you read all of this uh, do you think this is um well j just another product of um <laughs> class antagonisms or uh is there something more to to these like new protests and strikes are people like starting to get really tired of things just getting worse and worse and worse like how do you see upon all of this? The thing is that people are getting tired, but the thing is that Greeks, sadly, have the have a mindset. The mindset: I have to, if I want, I have to make myself my life comfortable, and I don't care about anyone else. Like due to the continuously the government, the political scene of Greece being incompetent. Basically, two for the past decades, uh, only two different parties were continuously voted. New Democracy, a conservative party, and uh, PASOK, which now has been dismissed. It has been abolished as a party. So how did that happen? Like, why were they dismissed? Was it they didn't... Uh, Basically, after, uh, like in 2010, I think, Papandreou's... No. I don't remember exactly his name, to be honest, because it has been a long time. Uh, it was the one that basically took the blame for the economic crisis. He, he basically was the final drop that made the glass uh, spill. He was the person that, in the end, Yeah, you would say a better, a better metaphor. But yeah, after so, that, the, popula the popularity started to diminish, and the members started to win fight, and then the parties simply split into other, and the members and they moved to other parties to see if that a new democracy or they made their own party. All right. Um, so seeing all of this like political chaos, what would you say? Um, is the is the Communist Party of Greece are they in a stable position right now, or, uh, or will they survive another election? Do you think, or will something radical? Happen? Uh, firstly, because I didn't think what I was saying before. Uh, yeah, I was saying, sadly, Greeks have a mindset of trying of trying to make their own lives and only their own lives comfortable and don't care about others because of the political situation. Greece always having been for the guests terrible. So basically, they have become politically ignorant, you could say. When it comes so, to Greek, con then yeah. to answer your previous question, to the Greek community, for decades now, well, actually not decades, for decades close to that and some years, the Greek Communist Party has seen a really small and really, really gradual increase. Basically, the Greek Communist Party gets six percent of the votes every vote every time they are vote every time there's a uh, elections okay and like syriza how would you say they're holding up will, will they survive another election do you think um it is a high possibility they will survive but they're not gonna be the governmental body so most likely yes Possibly a call, call either they will win by majority or they will go to a call, coalition. Okay. Well, then there certainly it doesn't look that it's going to get better from that point on. Um, I, what, what, how do you think these situations of the sanitation workers protesting and being dismissed, how do you think that, like, really? happened is it because of syriza is it because of 
general economy and political it's, chaos. It, um, it's, it's because of the continuous privatization of Greek uh, national industries. Greece oh, has suffered, con has been suffering since the crisis in, from continuous privatization. And yeah. we can't really, we have been fighting against it, but uh, as we are not the government, the government can simply sell everything they have. Like currently, the electric company, they is currently owned 40, 49% owned by private by private investors. It make, that makes it a, a mixed company. It's both, both owned by the state and private investors. For it, for it to be owned by the state, it needs to have 51% of the company owned by the state. Basically, it's only owned by the state by its midget. Well, <laughs> well, to close things often, um, unless someone else has any questions, um, I guess, like, yeah. Go ahead. Um, because, okay, to be honest, I am a bit kind of biased because I am a fanatic and a supporter of the Greek Communist Party, being a Marxist Leninist myself. But uh, the thing is that the Greek Communist Party would follow a socialist uh, economy, a planned state economy, where the state would own all businesses and all industries, which will be then run by the workers. It would have basically a bit of a Soviet Union economic economic plan, collectivization, industrialization, uh, establishment of the workers, unions, syndicates, co-ops. Basically, everything will be won by the co by the workers and the state. Uh, yeah. Most likely they would leave the EU because yeah, I think so. the EU promotes a capitalistic economy as unlike the Communist Party which promotes a socialist economy. They would be most likely immediately exit the EU as soon as possible in order to render that capitalistic promotion by the EU a way and establish fully a socialist economy. Go on. About the yeah, about okay, firstly about the EU survival. Possibly yes, because they have been threatened they have threatened us, threatened us of kicking us out in the past. They haven't done that. But without us, eh, they probably just don't care in the end. We are not really a major piece in the EU. And to be honest, we're better off without the EU because we used to be agriculturally self-sufficient. But then with the e when we joined the EU, we had to undergo heavy agricultural reforms and laws that the EU had set. We used to ex be one of the biggest exporters of citrus fruits. Heck, we exchanged citrus fruits with Russia in order to buy trains from them. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, when it comes to the International Monetary Fund, they, I guess, I don't know if our debt would be erased, though I doubt it, but I guess they would. I think there would be kind of a relief because there wouldn't be any any more need to lend us continuously money. <laughs> um, last of all, NATO, we would leave NATO immediately. We are a the Greek Communist Party, the Greek, Commun the Greek Communist Party heavily against NATO and its imperialist agenda. 
because like we don't want NATO to be here. We want to stop buying equipment from them really. We want we don't want to associate them. Like even even though the chances are really slim, even if, if Turkey, for example, uh, declares war on us when we leave the NATO, uh, the thing is that we might be able to defend for ourselves somewhat. We possibly could have uh, we could have the support of Russia somewhat, as we have good connections with them. But yeah, a war is basically, even if we leave NATO, a war is really unlikely. Yeah, I mean, from like a international relations, uh, relations perspective and a more like realistic scenario, the consequences of them going into war with any European country would be too high, I think. Uh, it's basically mutually sure destruction at that point. So uh, I... I think you're fine. I think I think that the more on the Turkey Greece like a uh, Turkey Greece war, it would be more of a, because to be honest, Turkey is incredibly unstable. Uh, it's politically yeah. unstable and it, it's basically unstable in so called basics. Because let me tell you something. Continuously, Turkey invades Greek uh, borders with their, in order to show their strength. That way, they distract their citizens from the actual problems of Turkey. All right. Well, um, I don't really have any questions uh, myself, but to uh, sum up my opinions about all of this, seeing the increasing privatizations of the industries and, uh, well, the companies capitalizing on uh, sanitization workers, um, lack of work, I guess, resulting in high amounts of garbage and uh, that just being another product to sell. Um, <laughs> to <laughs> paraphrase Slavoj Žižek, um, a Slovenian philosopher, yeah. the, more, uh, the more capitalism rottens, uh, the more it thrives. And I, I see just, you know, the political chaos and the economical chaos of uh, Christ, of, of Greece being another example of that. I mean, it's, um, I learned quite a lot hearing about this. It was much worse than I expected hearing other sources from, from well, like European uh, newspapers. So uh, I, I thought this was quite eye-opening. Um, did you, like, how much did you know about this? Um, Yeah, I learned a lot quite myself. All right. Well, do you have any final statements before we close off? Um, um, basically, walkers of the world unite. Uh, may we lead the next revolution. And this has been the end of the first, the first installment of the Greek communist corner.